Benjamin Moore's Wickham Gray. Watch this video if you want to see my color review. You want to understand what the undertones are of this color. There's more than just one. As well, I'm going to show you the best whites to pair with Wickham Gray and beautiful color palettes for inspiration for your home. For color clarity and design advice, be sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell down there and you'll be notified every week when I publish a new video. If you get frustrated trying to choose the right paint color for your home, don't worry, I'm here for you. I am a true color expert as well as an award-winning designer and I've helped many homeowners make sure that we choose the right paint color for their home the first time. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video. I've got some helpful resources that I know you're going to be interested in, again, just to help you with your paint color and in your interior decor. Okay, let's look at the undertone of Wickham Gray. So here we've got Wickham Gray in the middle and uh, Wickham Gray is actually a blue-green gray. Okay, so it's a little bit of blue, there's a little bit of green, so that's gonna depend on the light, as well as what you are decorating in your space, other, other elements that you're putting into your space. So if you put in more blue elements, then it may take on more of a blue look. And we're looking here at the color comparison, so I always like to compare, and you can see here on the right, we've got Coventry Gray, which is uh, also by Benjamin Moore, and that color here is really what I refer to almost as like a true gray. So it does have a blue undertone, but um, you can see how, so, so if you have a client or if you're looking and you're thinking Wickham Gray may feel a little bit too gray, then you pull out something like Coventry Gray and you go, oh, actually it's really not that gray at all compared to that. So comparing is important. Then here we've got Edgecomb Gray. So all of these colors are called gray, but look at how vastly different they are. Edgecomb Gray is a green gray. Uh, leaning a little more towards like a, a, a beige, but if you put it next to a beige, you would see that it's actually more of a gray. So uh, great color comparison there, so you can see the differences with Wickham Gray. Do me a favor, take a moment if you would for me now and just comment below, let me know, have you used Wickham Gray in your home? If so, what has your experience been? I'd love to hear about it. I'm gonna show you where I also used it in a project shortly. What are the best whites to pair with Wickham Gray? Cloud White is a white that I would definitely pair and have paired with Wickham Gray. Take a look at this living room that we did. Uh, the built-ins that you can see are painted in cloud white, as are the trim and the ceiling. A little less creamy option is Simply White, but still not stark white like the next one I'm going to show you. This Simply White works beautifully with Wickham Gray as well. And then we have Chantilly Lace, which I like to refer to as one of the most true whites that you can get out there. It's crisp, it's fresh, and it works beautifully with Wickham Gray as well. And what colors could you pair with Wickham Gray? Well, one of the ones that I did in that living room that I showed you, in another room we actually did for their dining room, we chose Pashmina. Pashmina is beautiful as well. It's a green gray. So you can see because it's a green gray, it's gonna work well with Wickham Gray. Here's that dining room if you wanna take a look at what we did here of Pashmina. Sticking for a moment with another soft tone, look at this tissue pink by Benjamin Moore. Pinks are so popular right now, the soft pinks, and this is a beautiful color combination that you could use in your home. If you're feeling a little more dramatic, what about Dragonfly? Again, a Benjamin Moore color. I just love these two together, so imagine maybe Dragonfly on some cabinetry, and maybe Wickham Gray on the walls. Beautiful! But if you want to go the other way and take out the blue rather than the green, then you can go dark here with Kensington Blue by Benjamin Moore. So another beautiful color combination. I just love putting together color combinations, so make sure that you're following me on Pinterest if you're not already because I have a lot of great palettes there, and go check out my blog and you will see those graphics that I've put together. Now you know everything you need to know about Wickham Gray, but what about making sure that you are choosing the right paint color the first time? Well, I can help you with that. Go to my website, uh, links are gonna be in the description below to get this free download on how to choose the right paint color the first time. And if you want your very own tear sheet on Wickham Gray and everything that I've discussed today, then make sure you go to my website. I will have links again in the description below, www.clairejefford.com. I have one for every color that I've done a review on and always adding more, so make sure that you check back. Remember, one mistake is all that it takes to make a project go from divine to disaster. So make sure you're doing it right and you're doing it right the first time. So tell me which room would you love to paint Wickham Gray or have you painted Wickham Gray? Comment below, I'd love to hear from you and I will see you next time. What about knowing how to choose the paint, right paint color? <clears throat> Remember, one mistake is all that it takes to take your, for God's sake, woo!